Kylie Mbappé, Ousmane Dembele and Marcus Rashford are among favourites for 2017 Golden Boy Award but Renato Sanchez is latest to see career seriously stall after a winning gong. Renato Sanchez joined Bayern Munich in a deal which could have been worth up to pound 80 million. However, his career has stalled so much in the Bundesliga, the German giants are unlikely to have to pay anywhere near that amount. Renato Sanchez looks set to leave Bayern Munich after just one season. Kyle Mbappe is the leading candidate to win Golden Boy Award in 2017. Sanchez, 19, won the prestigious Golden Boy Award in 2016, ahead of likes of Delali and Marcus Rashford. But, while the English duo continue to impress, the Euro 2016 winner's form has dipped dramatically and he is expected to leave the club this summer. Sanchez isn't the first golden boy to his career stall. The honor has been handed out by Tato Sport since 2003 and is equivalent to the Ballon d'Or for players under the age of 21. So, is the award cursed? Here we take a look back at the all of the careers of all the previous winners. Raphael van der Vaart. Ajax 2003. Raphael van der Vaart enjoyed a long career but never quite to heights expected. Youngest ever player to captain a club until 2015 and was tipped to be a star. Despite a decent career, van der Vaart probably expected to achieve more. After leaving Ajax, he played for Hamburg, twice, Real Madrid. Tottenham and Real Betis, before moving to FC Midtjylland in the summer. Marcus Rashford scores injury time winner to give Man United a 1-0 win at Hull. Wayne Rooney, Everton, Manchester United 2004. Wayne Rooney enjoyed breakthrough season on back of Euro 2004 performance. Whatever anybody may think of him, there's no doubting his success. Rooney has won five Premier League titles, a Champions League, is top goal scorer for England and four off achieving the same record at United. He is captain of his country and skippered club to FA Cup success. Narrowly beat future teammate Cristiano Ronaldo after Euro 2004. Lionel Messi, Barcelona 2005. Golden Boy Awards looks similar to Ballon D or which Lionel Messi won five times. Ehrman he's not done badly, has he? The Golden Boy Award set the standard for Messi. He has since won the Ballon d'Or record five times. The Argentine is considered by many to be the greatest footballer to have ever played the game. Chesk Fabregas, Arsenal 2006. Chesk Fabregas has produced arguably his best performances at Arsenal. Undoubtedly a success though it is up for debate whether that came with the Gunners or not. Fabregas failed to win a trophy with Arsenal while he filled his cabinet with medals at Barcelona, Chelsea and with the Spain. However, on a personal level, he produced his best under Arsene Wenger. Sergio Aguero. Atletico Madrid 2007. Sergio Aguero was a class act at Atletico, way before he moved to Manchester City. Another whose success cannot be questioned. Is a hero to all Manchester City fans for his last gasp goal which clinched the 2012 Premier League title and will certainly be remembered as an English football great. Aguero was a star at Atletico, who could have moved to any club in the world. Anderson, Manchester United 2008. It's amazing to think now, but Anderson was once a huge prospect in Europe. How? We hear you ask well, 
Believe it or not, there was a point where he was pretty good. United thought they'd signed the best prospect in football when they paid Porto pound 20 million for Anderson. But, after a fairly bright star, he soon dipped in form, ballooned in weight and went off the radar. Alexander Pato, AC Milan 2009. Alexander Pato was an AC Milan icon and fearsome striker in 2009. At this point, his talent was unquestionable he had ripped Real Madrid depart at the Bernabeu. However, his form dipped so rapidly, he didn't even make Brazil's 2010 World Cup squad. Returned to his homeland and then had a stint at Chelsea last season, but it was a disaster. Now at Tianjin Quanjian after a short spell with Villarreal. Mario Balotelli, Inter Milan, Manchester City 2010 Mario Balotelli had the world at his feet as a youngster, but hasn't progressed. How can someone so talented have achieved so little? Balotelli had the world at his feet when he moved to the Premier League and showed early flashes of genius. However, subsequent failures at AC Milan, twice, and Liverpool have seen him given one last chance to save his career with Nice in France. Mario Gotts, Borussia Dortmund 2011 Mario Gotts failed to live up to huge potential at Dortmund after massive move. Once dubbed the most talented player to come out of Germany, Bayern Munich broke the national transfer fee to sign him. Gotts even scored a winner in the 2014 World Cup final however, it was by coming off the bench, as he had become just a squad player. Returned to Dortmund last summer after an extremely underwhelming three-year stint in Bavaria. Isco, Malaga 2012 Isco's Real Madrid future is far from certain after such a bright breakthrough at Malaga. Real Madrid thought they'd bought the hottest property in Spanish football when they signed Disco a year later. Again, he started well but struggled to nudge the likes of Luka Modric, K. Smiro and Tony Cruz out of the team. The emergence of Marco Asensio at the Bernabeu appeared to suggest the end for Isco, but he stormed back and started the Champions League final ahead of Gareth Bale. Paul Pogba, Juventus 2013. Paul Pogba is considered by some to be one of the best midfielders on planet. French superstar famously left Old Trafford on a free transfer and blossomed into one of the world's finest midfielders at Juventus. In his four years with the Turin Giants, he won the title in every season. Pogba returned to United for a world record feat but struggled in his first season. Raheem Sterling, Liverpool 2014. Raheem Sterling shown at Liverpool and is backfiring again with Manchester City. Had the world at his feet when he won this award and then City made his most expensive English player of all time at £49 million. Presumably burdened by the fee, he struggled at the Etihad, and carried his poor form through to Euro 2016. After a bright start following the arrival of Pep Guardiola, Sterling's place at the Etihad is once again in jeopardy. Anthony Marshall, Manchester United 2015 Anthony Marshall has struggled so far this season after such a good debut. Frenchman arrived at Old Trafford for a mega fee but very few people had ever heard of him. However, Marshall went from strength to strength after scoring on his debut, and sent United to the FA Cup final with a stoppage time semi-final winner. But he was very poor last season and already faces a make-or-break campaign. 
Renato Sanchez, Benfica, Bayern Munich 2016. Renato Sanchez won the Golden Boy Award last summer and saw a form dip. He looked every bit the world beater as he made the move to Bayern in the summer. But he just cooled and edged his way into Carlo Ancelotti's side and appears set to leave the Allianz Arena although, possibly just on loan. Sanchez was even left out of Portugal's first under-21 match of their European Championship campaign. Bayern Munich star Renato Sanchez posts video of him sifting through wads of cash.